Paul James here, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna break down the best Google Maps features that will change your life. Also, somewhere during the middle of this video, I'll be sharing my very, very favorite feature, so make sure you don't skip ahead or you'll miss it. So let's jump right in. One of my favorite ones is the Google My Maps feature. Now, to find this, you can just go to Google and search for My Maps. And what this allows you to do is if we come up here and click this red button that says Create a New Map, this feature will actually let you create your own custom Google Maps. Now, you may be thinking, why would I wanna do this? Well, it lets you add in different thumbnails, different descriptions. You can even add in like YouTube video links. You can share this map with other people. So this could be useful if, for example, maybe you're going on like, um, a vacation or an itinerary. You wanna create like a list of things that you're going to be doing. So maybe I come in here and I'm gonna click add layer. So maybe I'm going on a trip to Orlando and I wanna drop a pin over here at Universal Studios. And I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say Universal Studios day one. So I could save that. I could add in an image or a video here, which is really cool. I could even go to YouTube and type in and type in something like Universal Studios Orlando Hulk, and I could add in the Hulk roller coaster ride because maybe I wanna show my family that this is something I really wanna do here. So I could go ahead and close that. I could title my, my map something like Orlando Trip in January or something like that, and I could save that. Now I can go ahead and I can share this map with as many people as I want, or I can just share a link and click anyone can view this link and copy this and give this link to everyone who's going on the trip with me so that they can see an itinerary of things I wanna do and they can also come and collaborate on it with me. Anyways, I just thought this was a super cool feature that not a lot of people know about. All right, this next feature leverages the part of Google Maps that's actually built right within Google search engines. So if you go to Google and you type in like a local keyword like chiropractor Cedarburg, Wisconsin, and you come down here, you're gonna see this pack of listings right here. You can actually utilize this feature of Google to become a consultant and actually charge people to help them show up here. So for example, if we came down and we went and approached one of these people like Dr. Michael or um, Johnson Allen, and we approach them and say, hey, we can help push you into the top three, we could actually charge them a monthly fee to help them do that. Now I've charged upwards of $2,000 a month to help people do that. And the reason why they're willing to pay that is because when you do that, you help them get an amazing amount of traffic to their listing. And that traffic ends up turning into people that are actually calling their phones. Now, if you wanna learn more about how this works, I do have a free urgent training call I'm holding at pauljames.com forward slash maps call. I'll also leave a link in the description of this video, but lots of people have taken my advice and successfully implemented this as well, like Jeremy who got a cloud-based surveillance systems company, or like Vince who said he got a second client for $900, or like Brent who said he's getting 15 to 20 leads per month. And it's actually not that hard. You really, if you can find someone who doesn't have their information filled out on their listing, like they don't have a description, they don't have any reviews. If you can find people that like don't have pictures, you can simply come in here and click own this business and add their business hours, their website, and add their pictures and help them get some reviews. They're going to jump up to these top spots and they're gonna be willing to pay you for helping them do that. All right, so one of my next favorite features in Google Maps is the street view history. And the way it works is you can zoom in on any part of the map that you wanna get a closer look at. Maybe you're not from the area and you wanna get a good look at it, or maybe you are from the area and you wanna see what it's looked like in the past. You drag this little person icon, it's right over here on my right hand corner. You drag it over here and hopefully my camera's not covering it up. Let me, let me zoom this up a little bit. Okay, so you drag this little person right over here and drop them like that. And of course you can browse the street. So like we can check out, you know, what's gone on in this area in the past. But the cool part is, is if we come up here and click see more dates, we can actually go and see what it's looked like all the way back from 2007 in this example of when Google started driving around taking pictures. So it's kind of cool and um, is neat, especially if you wanna look at like old childhood places where you grew up, you know, it's kind of a good way to reminisce and look back. So this is a really neat feature that I really appreciate. All right, for this next Google Maps feature, you're gonna need to be on the app on your phone. So I'm gonna be recording the screen on my phone. So if I'm looking down, that's why. 
This feature will allow you to change the engine of your car so that it will map the best route based on what kind of engine you have in your vehicle. This is a super cool feature and I highly recommend that whenever you're navigating somewhere, you actually turn this feature on because it's gonna make it a lot easier for you. So the way that you set up this feature is you type in your location of where you're going and where you're coming from and it's gonna navigate the route, right? Like you see on my screen. Then what you do is on the bottom, you swipe up on this card right here. And when you swipe up, you're gonna see a feature, change engine type right at the top here. And when you click that, you can change your, your engine type. So if you're driving like a hybrid car or an electric car, you can go ahead and you can update that and click done. And now it's going to give you the most efficient route for your engine type. And you can see that this route saves 30% on energy. So this is a really, really useful feature that not only is it gonna be more efficient, but it's gonna save you money in the long run. And as long as we're on my phone, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should go follow me there at Hello Paul James because I post there daily and I post different content than I post here. All right, as long as we're on the phone here, let's go ahead and show another cool feature that you can only access from the phone. And to access this feature, you actually need to click your profile picture up at the top right hand corner. And what you're looking for is the option that says location sharing. So this location sharing feature is really useful if you want someone to be able to track you or if you wanna track someone else. And basically this is going to share your real time location with anyone that you give access to. So this is really useful if maybe you're going out for the night and you want your friends to know like what different places you're going out to so that they can meet up with you later on during the night. Like maybe they haven't left yet and they're still getting ready, but you want to meet up with them. You can share this location with them, give it to them, and then they know where you are at all times. So you just click the blue button that says share location. You can choose how long you wanna share your location for, and then you can choose who you wanna share it with by just scrolling through your contacts. So again, a really useful feature and one that I really enjoy. All right, so this next Google Maps feature is one that they probably don't want you to know about because, well, it blurs out your house in the maps, but you might need to do this for privacy reasons or maybe someone's in the shot or maybe your license plate is showing. So if you find that that's the case, you can actually request to have your location blurred out. So basically, you just need to go to Google Maps, enter in your home address, then you're gonna enter into the street view, which is what I showed you how to do earlier when we were looking at that timeline. And once you're on the street view, you're just gonna click the report a problem button on the right-hand corner of your screen. And you're gonna center the box, just like this article shows you. You're gonna center the box on the part that needs to be blurred. And you're going to request what needs blurring, whether it's you know someone's face, a car, a license plate, write out a uh, description of exactly what the concern is and then you enter your email address and you hit submit and that's it and Google will then within like a week or so go and blur out the image of whatever it is you requested as long as it's for good reason and now you've got your image blurred. So there you have it. Those are all the features that I think you should know about right now and just a reminder if you do want to attend that free urgent training that I'm holding you can visit pauljames.com forward slash maps call or visit the link in the description of this video. Otherwise until next time I am Paul James. We'll see you in another video. Peace out.